Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So as the title says, there's some big news from Walmart that I just read and I wanted to make a video about it um, and share it with you guys um, before I go to bed tonight. So um, this is some pretty exciting news. So before I get into this article, a couple things I want to mention, very important things. Number one, this article is going to be in the description below so the so you can just click on the link and then read the whole article. I'm not going to read it all for you, but um, I'm definitely going to read some some things that, I, that are pretty awesome. The whole article is awesome, but I'm not going to read it all to you guys, but I'm going to read a large section of it to you. But you can definitely check it out in the description below. I'll put the link there to this article. Um, number two, if you're a wrestling fan, and I'm a huge wrestling fan, Sasha Banks' new Funko, new Funko Pop. Woo! This is an action figure, not a Funko Pop. Sasha Banks' new action figure um, dropped in store, so had to pick up Legit Boss, my baby, the love of my life, Sasha Banks. She is my favorite female wrestler today. Um, she's awesome, and WWE needs to use her more. So, anyhow... Uh, and also in this video, so that was number one, article is going to be in the description below. Number two, Sasha Banks is out in stores. Number three, I'm doing a giveaway. That's right. In honor of the article that I'm about to read to you, and you'll understand here in a minute, I'm going to be giving away a Chrome Hulk and a Chrome Black Widow. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how to enter and win one of these two Funko Pops. All right, <laughs> so let's get into the article. Walmart introduces new in-store collectibles destination with new exclusive products that are licensed to thrill. Okay, Walmart stores to offer one-stop shop for pop culture merchandise and exclusive brick-and-mortar retail home for loot crate. Interesting. Um, Walmart, and this article came out on the 3rd of October, and I'm barely reading it on the 14th. So, um, but this is happening starting tomorrow on the 15th, just to give you a heads up. So this video is being made one day prior. So, you know, at least it's up before to give you guys a heads up. So let's check this out. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Getting over my sickness. Um, I have a cold. Walmart is, mm-hmm, Okay. Walmart is uh, leveling up its pop culture merchandise for fans, announcing it will introduce a new dedicated collectible section in the entertainment department for, no, I'm sorry, of more than 3,500 stores starting the week of October 15th, which is starting tomorrow. This new destination for collectors will feature the exclusive brick-and-mortar retail home of Loot Crate. The popular subscription box, yes they are, <laughs> very popular, will now be available for Walmart customers to purchase in the store, debuting six different themed boxes featuring top movie, TV, game franchises as limited edition collectibles. Okay, so they already they already are limited edition collectibles, loot crate boxes anyways. Um, an assortment of best brands and sections of exclusive accessories, toys, collector boxes, and more with new and exclusive product from Funko, McFarland Toys, Wow, and Culturefly. So, what does this mean? Guys, <laughs> let me break it down for you. 3,500 Walmart stores are going to have a collector's section in the entertainment department, which is the department where they have the video games, the movies, the Blu-rays, all that stuff. That department of Walmart will now have a Funko Pop slash collections, collectors slash loot crate slash department or section in that department. Meaning they're going to be selling Funko Pops. They're going to be selling loot crate exclusive mystery boxes. That's big for loot crate. I'll get into that in a second. They're going to be selling McFarlane toys. So that's all the Walking Dead um, action figures that you see. And um, 
you know, Stranger Things action figures you see that McFarlane, you know, he's very famous if you're a toy collector and you collect toys, then you're probably watching this channel <laughs> and you know who McFarlane is. But McFarlane Toys, very quality, well detailed, very detailed toys and Culture Fly. So Loot Crate, this is a huge deal for them, guys. Um, this is big. So Walmart and Loot Crate are now in business together. And Loot Crate is going to have a part of that collections department or the collections section in the entertainment department section of Walmart. Loot Crate's going to have mystery boxes available. Now, the mystery boxes are saying here are going to go for nineteen eighty-eight a box. Every mystery box I've ever bought and I've ever paid for um, has been either twenty-four ninety-nine or twenty-nine ninety-nine. Uh, including DC, um, Marvel, everything. So, for for Walmart to offer it at nineteen eighty eight for these mystery boxes. Mystery boxes are like the Venom box that I opened up and I did the Venom one for you guys, and then I did the Deadpool for you. I showed you, you know, you don't know what's inside. Um, Walmart has carried some of these before, um, but very few. Thirty five hundred stores is quite a bit. So. Um, this is a big deal for Loot Crate. So this is, this is, this is kind of how this is going to work out financially. Um, cause there's a financial benefit to Loot Crate for doing this. And of course, Walmart, you know, is, they're both gonna, they're both winning. So in order for Loot Crate to do business with Walmart or anybody to do business with Walmart, Walmart strong arms you. And I don't care what you say. I, I really don't, uh, because this is a, a, a fact. Walmart will twist your arm almost to the point of breaking it to get you at the very lowest price possible as a company um, so they can sell that product to the consumers, which are us, at a lower rate. So benefits us, right? It does. Have you ever went to Walmart and you bought cereal? Let's say you bought Kellogg's, I don't know, whatever you like, any brand, it doesn't matter. You bought cereal there, right? Just an example. And have you noticed that if you go to another store like Target or any other, just any other store could be, I don't know, just so there's so many grocery stores out there. Um, have you ever noticed that cereal's more expensive at the other stores, but a lot less expensive for the same exact one, same size and everything at Walmart? That's why, because these companies sell their product to Walmart at a lower rate than what they sell to the other retailers because Walmart twists their arm and, and Walmart does blackball a lot of companies. Sorry to say, but it's true. Um, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing for Loot Crate and I'm gonna explain why it's not. It's not a bad thing. And it's not a bad thing for us, right? Because we enjoy paying lower prices for these products. But Walmart is such a monopoly and yes, they are a monopoly. They won't admit it. A lot of people won't admit it, but they are a monopoly, meaning they dominate the business. They dominate the industry when it comes to so many items. I mean, light bulbs are cheaper at Walmart. Food's cheaper at Walmart. Clothes are cheaper at Walmart. Socks are cheaper. I mean, just everything's cheaper at Walmart, right? Less expensive. Most of it's made in China. That's always been the joke, but actually it's true, right? So, long story short, Loot Crate is now going to have to cut some of their what they're what they were doing before selling it online selling at Amazon you know you know selling at the other real retailers that were selling loot crate products these are the mystery boxes um, they were selling them at a higher price you know so I'll, I might have paid 2499 somewhere else for the same box I'm gonna pay 1988 at Walmart for so where's that for five dollars going well obviously loot crate is taking some type of cut to make a deal with Walmart to get their product into the store but because walmart is such a monopoly such a huge dominating retail store where they take that cut per box they're going to increase it in the amount of volume that they sell so loot crate might sell a star wars box at 24.99 and they might sell a thousand boxes let's just say at amazon well now they're going to sell it for 1988 it's, they're going to, obviously, that's what Walmart's selling it for. So Loot Crate took some type of cut to make a deal with Walmart. But instead of selling 1000 now they're going to sell 5000 So 
you can just imagine the money that this is a great deal for Luke Crate. They're taking a cut on how much they, you know, they're taking a cut off of that part, but they're increasing the volume, which is going to increase the revenue. So one thing I'm interested in finding out is does Loot Crate, are they publicly traded or is it a private company? Because if they're publicly traded, this deal is going to help their stock prices because now the volume, the volume is more important than how much each box cost. So they might be taking a hit on each box, but the volume is so much greater that they're going to make up for that big time. So this is really good news for us. Walmart is not only going .com only for a lot of exclusives with Funko, but now in 3,500 stores, we're going to be able to find mystery boxes from Loot Crate, McFarland Toys, and they're even showing in this article. Uh, and again, the description, the, the article will be in the description below. All six Thanos Pops, which also ironically drop this month. Matter of fact, some Walmart, some Walmarts might actually have the Thanos Chrome. That's how the Chrome comes into play. Some Walmarts might even have these Chrome Pops out tomorrow. Because this is starting October 15th. And the um, there's going to be the collections section in the entertainment department. So they will be selling the exclusive Walmart exclusives as well. So Thanos, I'm going to check Walmart.com, of course, too. But man, that so now, so you remember how we've been talking a lot about um, Walmart? We see, we're starting to see them disappear like Funko Pops, not on the shelves anymore. They're kind of phasing them all out. There's a reason why. Didn't know. Now I know there's a reason why. They're revamping it and making it, you know, making they they worked out a special deal with not just Funko with McFarland Toys, with um, <laughs> with Loot Crate obviously, making huge money there. I mean that's a great deal. Um, so there's mystery boxes, Funko Pop exclusives. Um, they're showing a picture of McFarland Toys. They're showing upside down Will, um, which is it's an action figure just like this, but it's made from McFarland Toys. Um, they're showing Harry Potter mystery. They're showing PlayStation um, collector's box from Culture Fly. Um, this is pretty cool, guys. So, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming the section's going to be, you know, a certain size to start with, and then depending on how popular and how much business, how many collectors like myself go. Obviously, there's going to be a, a ton of collectors that go and buy the stuff and eat the stuff up. So. Um, I'm assuming they're going to start with one size and just see how it works and then maybe expand it or maybe make it smaller depending on that specific store and the needs um, of that community. Meaning if there's a lot of collectors in that community that go to that store and buy it and things sell out, they're going to probably enlarge the section over time. If you see stuff on the shelves getting dusty, well, then they're probably going to shrink it, right? So, um, But good news is collector's boxes are coming, loot crate boxes are coming exclusive Funko Pops, the new Thanos Pops are dropping. So these are going to be available in Walmart stores. 3,500 of them are being announced. So check out the article below. Um, let's talk about these two. So in the comments below, Hulk or Black Widow? I'm going to give... I'm going to do a drawing... Well, I'm going to do a drawing. I'm going to give the Hulk away to one subscriber and Black Widow away to another subscriber. So in the comments below on this video, um, you can put whatever comment you want. Uh, you can comment on this article, obviously. But somewhere on there at the very end, or maybe you just want to put a comment, put either Hulk or Black Widow. Let's do hashtag Hulk or hashtag Black Widow. Um, meaning... That if you're in the Hulk, hashtag Hulk, then you will be entered to win the Hulk. If you're in hashtag Black Widow, you'll be entered to win Black Widow. So which one of these two do you want more than the other one? So you get to hashtag it and enter into that one. I will do the drawing on these two. Um, let's make the drawing for Wednesday. Yeah, it's just a couple days away. We'll do it for Wednesday the 17th. 
So October 17th. So we'll do it in three days from now because it's Sunday night. So we'll do the join on Wednesday and I'll be giving these two away. Um, that's pretty cool. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Are you excited that 3,500 Walmarts are going to be um, carrying the Loot Crate boxes, the collector's boxes, and now you know the Funko Pops are going to have its specific section and they're going to actually be cared about, hopefully, and, and hopefully the boxes come in better condition. We'll see. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited about this. Let me know if you're excited about this. Um, and uh, leave your comments below. And then let me know which one of these you want to win. And uh, I'll do that join on Wednesday, the 17th of October. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I know the video was kind of long, but it's a big article, a big announcement, um, especially for, for any type of toy collector. This is huge. This is huge. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about, about Walmart and Loot Crate making this deal and, and all these new uh, exclusives that are going to be available at Walmart. Uh, I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty excited. Um, so let me know what you think. Please be kind to one another. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, Monday. Take care, guys. I'm going to get some rest.